What's going on guys? So we are out here at Bishop RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're about to take a look at this really interesting Catalina Legacy Edition travel trailer from Coachman. This is not what I expected when I looked inside of this unit, and I think you're going to kind of be blown away with how they used the space in this travel trailer that is so unique and different from many others. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,800 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 2,219 pounds. This is a relatively heavy unit. So you're gonna wanna be careful what you tow this with. In my opinion, one ton single rear wheel truck or perhaps even a dually would be ideal for this. You could get away with a three quarter ton truck so long as you make sure that your payload capacity is enough to be able to handle the weight on the pin when this thing is fully loaded, plus carry all the occupants inside. But this is gonna be roughly 37 feet long. So this is a beast, this is a big boy. It is a stick and tin unit, which means it has a wooden frame with an aluminum sided construction. It is definitely on the larger side of stick and tin units before you move to like a park model. It is a really cool kind of visual and it has a nice overall look to it. Plus it has dual awnings, which is really nice. You typically don't see that on a stick and tin unit. So you have an awning on the slide and you have an awning up here. Plus you can see your outside speakers. Let's take a look at the front storage area. It has a really good size front pass-through storage as well. It's about two and a half feet wide by about 16 inches tall. You have cable as well as power out here as well. So if you're gonna put a TV out here, you'll be able to uh, utilize that. Looking underneath, this rides on a 10 inch I-beam frame. Let's take a look at the wheels and tires. Does not utilize the suspension equalizer, though it does have aluminum wheels. This does use rack and pinion slides as well. And it has a nice outside kitchen. So let's open this up. Really thick baggage door over that also. I love the outside kitchen, this is really nice. Micro refrigerator, or not so micro refrigerator. Has an outside sink, which I absolutely love. Bottle opener, a lot of space here. You could probably put a small TV or a microwave. Cabinets above, drawers below, and a little outside cooking area. Plus it provides you some protection against the elements if it starts raining on you when this is open. Coming around back, this appears to have incandescent lights. It's possible that they're LED, but I'm not 100% certain. It is wired for a Furion backup camera. I can feel a cold front coming in. The temperature just dropped by about 10 degrees. Rack and pinion slide over here. And it has another slide right up front, which is a Schwintec slide. I love the fact that they used the Schwintec on the smaller slide. Let's come back around. The tires are made by a company called High Spec, which of course is just kind of a private brand name tire that they put their name on. Has a leash link, which is kind of cool as well. Okay, let's take a step inside of this 333 BHT SCK. They gotta make those shorter. That's crazy. All right, stepping inside, you can probably tell what's so different about this unit. First of all, they've positioned everything in a very, very smart way. Nice love seat that converts into a bed, pointing directly at the TV, fireplace, entertainment center. I love this setup here. It even gives people sitting here, and possibly even people sitting here if they're willing to crane their neck, the ability to see the TV. Stepping back a little further, has a great bunkhouse. Check this out. Lots of room. It is traditional to a bunkhouse, but I like the fact that they integrated it in with such a smart living area. Lots of places to sleep up here, as well as a fold down bunk, and then this cool setup that you can flip the other way and have it as chairs. Lots of cabinetry here. It has its own air conditioning system in the back, which is also really nice. Kitchen area is very well thought out. I love the fact that they have this wraparound kitchen area. This is something you typically don't see in travel trailers, especially travel trailers with this floor plan, and it really gives it a nice, homey, comfortable, warm feel inside. Plus, 
the neutral tones. It has a lot of the lighter tones people are looking for. A lot of room to the side of the stove for food prep, plus you have a lot of countertop space over here, and there's a fair number of cabinets, including a pantry area right here. Let me open that up for those of you who want to see that. And that is a good two feet deep, both top and bottom. It has a good size Furion refrigerator as well. It is gas electric. Moving up to the bathroom area has a good size bathroom. The shower stall is definitely the larger style. It looks like it's at least two and a half feet deep and about three feet long, maybe three and a half feet long. A lot of room in front of the toilet. Nice little vanity area, which is nice. Plus it has a lot of room here for your toiletries, towels, and other supplies you might bring with you. Coming back into the bedroom area, it's a little dark in here. King size bed, which I really like, and that's kind of different because the width of this is what allows it to have a king size bed. You're only going to have about six to eight inches on that side, and you have about a foot on this side, so it is going to be kind of cramped in here, but just the fact that you have space for a king size bed in here is awesome. And of course, the bed flips up and gives you storage underneath it as well. Huge storage area. Plus, you have cabinetry, more drawers here, and you have a space on the wall for a TV and your cable connections, as well as more storage above the bed. And they didn't place it too low, so you don't really don't have to worry about hitting your head on it whenever you get out of bed. Your control panels here, I kind of wish they had trimmed it off with some wood or just put a backer behind it, that would have looked nice. Has two air conditioning systems, fully ducted. Overall though, this is a pretty nice unit. You know, I like the room utilization, and it can sleep a ton of people. I mean, in the back there, you could probably sleep four people. Right here, you can sleep two more. That's six, maybe two small kids here, seven, eight, then nine, ten in the bedroom. If you have a small baby or a small child in between, that's 11. But there is a good amount of space in here, and the kitchen is well thought out. So I've been through some other floor plans similar to this, but the big difference tends to be the kitchen area. The kitchen is kind of this own isolated island or they don't even put an island and it's wide open and you lose countertop space because they put the sink in this area. But because they made it this L shape, they give you a lot of room for countertop space. Now, you won't be able to really fit more than one person back here cooking, but if somebody's willing to kind of prep on this side, you have quite a bit of space. Plus the outside kitchen, which I really like. Again, guys, this is just a different floor plan. You don't see a lot of them like this, and it's a good layout. I think the price was posted on another one I saw. The price, I think, was $32,000. So it has an MSRP of $44,474, and I think in the other unit it said it was $32,000 and change. But you might be able to talk them down even a little bit off of that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this travel trailer, please let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.